So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Bring someone with you to church. Bring someone with you to church. Hey, this is Clint Louie, and I'm coming to you with five minutes from friendship. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate it. I really do. And I want to encourage you. Let's bring someone to church. Do you know they tell us that most people will go to a church because there's someone at that church they already know? A friend invited them. A friend encouraged them to come. That's right. Most people, no, I won't say every case. Sometimes people come because they're looking for a church. They might just come in. And we've seen that happen at Friendship. But in most cases, it's because there's already a connection there. There's a friend there. There's someone there. And I want to encourage you. How about we bring someone with us to church? I'm, I'm thinking of a parable the Lord told about a man who threw a great supper. He hosted a great supper. <laughs> Even in Bible days, they knew if you want to get a crowd, you got to feed them. <laughs> Well, this man threw a great supper. Now, in Bible days, they would th they would they would send out two invitations. One a few days prior that said, "Hey, on such and such a day, hey, this Friday, y'all, we're having supper, and we're going to we want you to come." The second invitation would go out just maybe an hour beforehand or whatever, just shortly before, and said, "Hey, it's already prepared. Let's go eat. Dinner bells ringing." Well, this man invited many to come to his supper, and in Luke fourteen, the Bible tells us that when he sent out that second invitation. They began to make excuses. I got something else to do. I'm not interested. I ah, no, not today. And it, it upset him. It was an insult. And he wanted to see his house filled. He wanted to see people at the table. And so he told his servant, the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Well, just like this man in the parable in Luke 14, the Lord Jesus wants his house to be filled. And the Lord has a meal. He has spiritual bread for people. He has bread for the hungry. He has water for the thirsty. He has oil for the sick. Can I tell you today, the Lord has what people need. And so we ought to compel people. We ought to bring people to church. There's somebody you know, a co-worker, a friend, a neighbor, a relative. You could call up and say, would you come to church with me this Wednesday evening? Don't wait for Sunday. Go ahead and fill up Wednesday night. You could say, would you come to church with me this Sunday? Maybe there's a special event going on at the church you attend. I know this coming Sunday, November the 1st, on Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, we're hosting a special meeting. We're calling Stanfield Praise, and we're praying for our nation and our country and, our, and the election. And you can bring someone with you. But whatever's going on, why don't you bring someone with you to church? And let me give you a few reasons why we should. Number one, look for the Lord. Do it for the Lord. Do it for Jesus. You know, Jesus bled and died for all people. He loves all people. And for Jesus' sake, let's compel them to come in. Let's fill up God's house. We believe the Lord wants to pour out his blessing. We want to see the Lord save people. We want to see the Lord help people. Let's do it for the Lord. His cross and the Lord is worthy of it. Secondly, we ought to do it for love. What greater way could you show someone you love them by trying to bring them to Jesus? And you ought to bring someone with you to church, praying and trusting God from your heart. You know, if I bring them to church, they might hear the gospel, might be saved, might find help and hope for their home and their family. You know, what greater way could you love your friend or relative or neighbor than by bringing them around Jesus and the things of God? And then finally, let's do it for the lost. There may be somebody you know that is lost and going to hell. And without Christ, they will go to hell for eternity. And maybe you could bring them to church. You could call them up and say, come with me Sunday. And then as they're there, maybe they'll hear the gospel and be saved. And I tell you, Jesus still saves old sinners. I'm living proof that he saves old sinners. And may I tell you, for the lost sake, for the Lord's sake and for love's sake, let's go and bring somebody to church. This is Clint Louie. You have a great day.